Hey, welcome back y'all. It's another exciting video from the attic. We are having a wonderful hair day. We just got home from work. It's about eight o'clock at night. Somebody asked me a question about this Honeywell ERV. I think they want to put it in a bedroom of a condo. They want to know how loud this thing is. And uh, do I think that would be okay to put it in a bedroom? I think so. It's not very loud. That wouldn't be my first choice to put it in a room that you're living in, but I think it would be okay. Uh, this thing is currently running. It's got two motors in here. So I hear a little bit of motor noise. I hear some wind noise. This door is very well insulated. This door obviously is gonna be facing the room, but it, it keeps the noise down. Uh, this thing is not any louder than like an old school box fan. A lot of people have these in their house that leave them running all the time. Maybe they like to sleep with this. Some people actually like to sleep with the noise. It's also probably not any louder than a ceiling fan running on high. You have a ceiling fan, it's, it's maybe the humming of the motor and also the wind noise. I would also compare it to maybe an older computer, especially like an older laptop like I have. You know, they get kind of slow and sometimes they, uh, like they kick into high speed. You know, the fan kicks on and they get kind of loud and they start making all kind of racket. Anyway, it's not any louder than that. You would not have any issue being in the bedroom, I think sleeping or having a conversation. I mean, I'm standing right here. I could have a pretty quiet conversation with someone standing right here. There is a bedroom right here on the other side of this door. No insulation in the wall. You cannot hear this at all over there in that bedroom. All right, let's try to get a little bit closer. Look at this thing. Move this uh, box fan out of my way here. So right here on the top, this flex duct, the installation manual said to install this flex duct to reduce the noise that this thing makes. I find that kind of interesting because probably the loudest thing is right here on the top. I can hear the air being pulled through here. Now the bottom one, that's the fresh air coming into the house. You would think blowing into the house, you would hear the noise, but I don't hear anything down here. But up here, Up on the top, that's, I mean, honestly, it's just, it's a fan. It's a tiny little DC motor. It's just air being pulled through here, so it's not bad. Sometimes when the HVAC kicks on, I mean, it's probably no louder than, you know, you get into some people's houses and get into a small room like a bathroom, you can hear the air just blowing out of the HVAC vent. So it's probably no worse than that. You can set this thing up on a timer. Maybe you want to, uh, or honestly, the control switch is right here on this thing. If you're in the bedroom and it's bothering you, turn it off. Mine runs 24 hours a day. It used to be on a timer. I used to only run it 12 hours a day. Long story short, now it runs 24 hours a day. So I don't think it has to run all day. If you've got it in a room where you're at and it's annoying, Turn it off and then turn it back on when you leave. So if you've been wondering how loud a Honeywell ERV is, oh, uh, by the way, this unit is, uh, this is the VNT 5150E1000. I'm sure you were wondering what model number it was. And now you know how loud it is. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.